Hi, I'm going to create some cladding here. So uh, it's something like this. Uh, I need it for top of the stairs. So it's a king span uh, galvia lamp. So I'm just going to create a user section. Uh, this is the coverage area of 32 inches. So I have created profile. It's unbroken closed polyline and basically we will just uh there's a quick way there's a couple of different ways to do it i guess i'm just going to do a rectangle just draw a rectangle around this i'm going to do text and i'll call it galvalume and we'll change the text uh, we'll change the text in a minute just a simple text uh, i don't know if it matters but we'll change it to standard and i want to copy this down for the section size here and it's going to be seven eight Not seven and seven eight, seven eight, and the coverage is going to be thirty two. Seven eight thirty two. Okay, that's all the information we need. So now we need to go to our extended modeling. Uh, you can do put these on layers as you choose, or else you can just go here and click on this, and say we want to do the frame. That will activate all those layers. So now if I select the frame, I can go here and let's do, let's do it on the home tab. So I can select a layer and see, you can see hyper, all the hyper coordinates, all the hyper layers here. So hyper frame, and then we want to do type name, and then we want to do section name. And then we want to select, so you have four options for this. You have outer contour exact, outer contour, and then you have inner contour exact and inner contour. So we don't have an inner contour and we're not going to do an exact contour for this. So we only need to pick one of these and we're going to do exact outer section. So that's that activated. This here is my um this is my coverage area so i'll use this box to allow me to snap to the corners so what i'll do is we'll come back up to extended modeling uh, that's for creating a rectangle if you want to do it that way and now i'm going to click the corner points so select so I'm gonna, sorry, let's do that again. So we don't wanna put that there, let's delete that again. Sometimes it's hard to get this snap on. So just right click and do intersection. And there's your coordinates and so on. So this is my center point. So I'm gonna do center and i'll do the center of the circle and then we'll come over here and we'll do the top right and we'll do endpoint okay and then we can do bottom right endpoint and we'll go back to the middle down here i don't know if i really need to do a middle point over here what you can do is you can draw a line here and that's on a layer now so just be careful so that's on that frame layer so if i want to do the center of the whole thing and the midpoint of this and i can delete this line Or we don't even need to delete it. What we can do is we'll just match it to this one. 
so it's not an intelligent line. And where was I? Uh, center bottom, I'll do this. Endpoint. And one more, we'll do this one over here. All right, so that's the six of them. Uh, they come in at all different scales. It's kind of weird, but you can scale these down over here if you want. As you can see, point eight. So I'm not really worried about that, to be honest. So then you can add a coordinate system as to where when you want to snap to this. So we can. It's going to be hard to define it on this. So let's just see what happens if we do that. See, that's not on the layer, so you want to pick this one. Cannot be arcs, so we can't really pick anywhere for our coordinates to snap on this one, so that's okay. So everything that's inside the box is going to be taken account of. Um, so then you want to do this, you can generate selected section. Or you can generate all sections. So we'll generate all sections. And we can see 7832 has been generated successfully. So let's see if we go back. I'm not sure if we might need to close down. Don't really remember. I don't create these all the time, to be honest with you. So let's just see for, I've created this section. So let's, uh, let's update the defaults. Let's click on this. We want to come in here and go to other profiles, so all, and scroll down to the one that's other. Other profiles, and all. And if you scroll down, you can see Galvelum. And there's the 7, 8 by 32. So there's my sheet. It's giving me the system line over here. So let's see if this move positions. If we locate those things correctly. Those points on the corners. So let's go here. And that's good. So uh, there's your section. And now you have, you know. It's just an easy way if you want to reuse something. Now, people are probably going to say there's something like this in the system already, but I wanted to create my new one called Galvinum. So, hope this helps. All right.